Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of absolute values as well as quadratic equations. So we have been given a question that says for x belongs to r, that is real numbers, we have to find how many real roots are present. So number of real roots is what I need to find out for the equation which is given to us. 3x square minus 4 mod of x square minus 1 plus x minus 1 is equal to c. So this is the question which is presented to us. Now let's understand how many real roots will be present for this quadratic equation given to us. Before starting off with this idea, first of all, let's develop the concept for the question. So if I talk about the absolute values, let's say, if I want to find, let's say, mod of 5, Whenever positive is present within the mod, we write it as it is, right? And if a negative value is present within the mod, we remove that negative sign and write it as it is. Or in other words, I can say whenever there is negative present inside the mod, we multiply that entire expression inside the mod with minus 1 to get a positive value because mod of anything always gives us a positive value, right? If I use the same idea, so if x is greater than 0, mod of x, whenever something is positive within the mod, we write it as it is, so it becomes x. But if x is less than 0, so mod of x, now the value which is present inside the mod is negative. Right? So if I want to make that positive, I will multiply the entire expression with minus 1. That gives me minus x. Now it looks like it is a negative value, but it's not negative, it's actually positive because mod of anything always gives us a positive. How it is positive? Minus is having a negative sign, but x which is present inside the mod is also less than zero. That's also coming with a negative sign. So negative, negative will make it ultimately positive, right? So this is the idea that will be following here. So let's understand how to solve this type of questions. So First of all, 3x square minus 4 mod of x square minus 1 plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, how to solve this using critical key points method? Let's see. So, whenever you want to use critical key points method, first thing what you do is, whichever expression is present inside the mod, equate it with 0. What I get here is x square is equal to 1 because if I equate x square minus 1 equals with 0, x square becomes equals 1, so x becomes plus or minus 1. So I get two values of x here. So if I plot that on the number line, what I get? Minus 1, this is 1. So minus 1 and 1 basically divide your entire number line into three regions, right? Your first region is from minus 1 or it's between minus 1 and minus infinity. Second region is from minus 1 and 1. And third region goes from 1 and infinity, right? So let's check the values of x square minus 1 in all the three cases because x square minus 1 is the expression which is present inside the mod, right? So if I check the signs for x square minus 1, so if I put any value between minus 1 and minus infinity, let's say if I put minus 5, so minus 5, if I put it here as x, the square of that is 25 and minus 1, so 24, that's a positive value. So, right, entire range of values in this region will give you a positive value for the expression present inside the mod. So, that's a positive thing. Now, here if I see between 1 and minus 1, if I put, let's say, 0. So, 0 square is 0. 0 minus 1 will give you a negative value. So that's a negative. And if I put any value between 1 and infinity, let's say 5 again. So 5 square 25 minus 1 again a positive one. So these two regions give me a positive value, whereas the region between them gives me a negative value. Right? So what will happen is if I talk about mod of x square minus 1, so mod of x square minus 1, and x square minus 1 is the expression which is present inside the mod in the first range from minus 1 to minus infinity or between minus 1 and minus infinity, this entire thing is positive. Whenever something is positive, we already saw that, we write it as it is. 
So I will write this entire expression as x square minus 1. Here, if you see between minus 1 and 1, what you get is entirely negative. Whenever entirely negative value is present inside a mod, what we do is we multiply it with negative. That is minus 1. So if I multiply this entire expression with minus 1, it becomes minus 1 into x square minus 1. And again, for the third region, it's positive. So we will write it again as this. I hope you are all clear with how to use this mod. So we'll substitute this values of the mods for all the three regions separately. And we'll get three separate equations in all the three cases, right? So first of all, what is asking to us? Is asking us to find number of real roots. And when do we get number of real roots? When the value or the discriminant of the quadratic equation, that is p square minus 4ac, that becomes greater than or equal to c. Right? So we just need to check whether the quadratic equations which we get after substituting the value for x square minus 1, whether those quadratic equations has a discriminant which is greater than or equal to 0. If the discriminant is greater than or equal to 0, we will get real roots for those quadratic equations. Right? So let's check it. Now, we already have talked about this. The values for x square minus 1 is positive in the case where x values go beyond minus 1 and beyond 1, right? So if I talk about this, so when x belongs to minus infinity and minus 1, or if it is from 1 to infinity, in both the cases, x square minus 1 is positive, right? And when x square minus 1 is positive, I can directly substitute mod of x minus 1 as actually x minus 1, x square minus 1, because x square minus 1 is positive. So the quadratic equation becomes 3x square minus 4 x square minus 1 plus x minus 1 equals 0. So if I solve this quadratic, what I get? 3x square minus 4x square plus 4 plus x minus 1 equals 0. So I get minus x square plus x plus 3 is equal to 0. So if I get this quadratic equation, I can tell that if I compare this with ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, I get a is minus 1, b is 1, and c is 3. So if I find b square minus 4, what I get? 1 square minus 4 into minus 1 into 3. So 1 plus 12, that is 13. And when I see, I get b square minus 4 is greater than 0. That tells me discriminant which is present is greater than 0 means I will get real roots in this case that will be real and unequal. And since the quadratic equation has the highest power 2, we get two solutions for this. So for this region for between minus 1 to minus infinity as well as from 1 to infinity, we get two real roots. So basically till now for these two regions, we have two real roots. Now let's understand what happens when your values of x lie between minus 1 and 1 where the entire expression becomes a negative value. We need to multiply that x square minus 1 with minus 1. So now when your values of x lie from minus 1 to 1, we already have seen that mod of x square minus 1 is negative. So we need to multiply this entire expression of x square minus 1 present inside the mod with minus 1. Take it out of the mod. So my quadratic equation was 3x square minus 4 mod of x square minus 1 plus x minus 1 equals 0. So now it becomes 3x square minus 4. This becomes minus 1 x square minus 1. Right? So this is how we can take it out of the mod plus x minus 1 equals 0. So now if I solve it, the x square plus 4 x square minus 1 plus x minus 1 equals 0. So this gives me 3 x square plus 4 x square minus 4 plus x minus 1 equals 0. So from 7 x square plus x minus 5 equals 0. Now, if I compare the same things with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, what I get here is a is 7, b is 1, and c is minus 1. 
So now if I again use the idea b square minus 4 AC, that is 1 square minus 4 into 7 into minus 4. So that is 1 plus 28 into 5, that is 140, becomes 141. 141, if you see it is greater than 0, and then b square minus 4 AC is greater than 0, we will again have real roots because the discriminant is greater than 0 for this quadratic equation as well. So again, when a, a quadratic equation is present, the higher power is 2. So again, I will have two real roots for this quadratic equation as well. So in the previous thing, we got two real roots. Now also I have two real roots. So for this entire expression which was given to us, we have in total for the entire number line, we have 2 plus 2. So number of real roots, if I talk about, that becomes 4 and 1. So basically we have 4 real roots for this quadratic equation given to us. And the option which matches here in this case is C. So C is the answer for the question. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question where mods are present. So always remember this idea. If the expression within the mod is positive, you write it as it is. But if the expression inside the mod becomes a negative value, you multiply the entire expression with minus 1 if you are taking it out of the mod. I hope you have understood this idea. We will meet again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you are finding these videos very helpful. It takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you. So please do subscribe. Thank you.